everyone and welcome to today's webinar. I am Tarannum Perkar. I lead the product marketing uh, team for IoT at Cisco. In today's webinar, we will be talking about how Cisco can simplify IT for industrial networks. I also have uh, some of our TMEs who will join us today and give you some exciting product demos. So we've seen that our customers across different industries have been using technology to accelerate their digital journey, whether it's manufacturing, uh, utilities, renewable energy like solar and wind farms, or even roadways. Technology has really been driving better business outcomes for them, such as improving efficiency, reducing downtime, enhancing safety and security, and so on. And most recently, sustainability has become a key business priority for companies. And again, digitization is really helping them in reaching the sustainability goals. As we talk to customers, we see that uh, they face a number of challenges uh, where, you know, when they are deploying networks. Uh, and we will be talking about three key challenges that they face from a deployment perspective. The first challenge is around uh, cybersecurity. So IT teams uh, don't really have the visibility into what are the different assets that are connected in the operational environment or even what are the security risks associated with them. Uh, we may have remote operations. Uh, uh, because of remote operations, you have outside vendors getting access to the OT assets uh, that further increases the cybersecurity risk. The second challenge that the customers talk to us about is around um, complexity. So there are many different use cases and each use case uh, needs a different type of connectivity uh, that comes with its own management tool. Um, so this really makes it difficult for the IT teams to scale, especially if they have you know, multiple sites uh, spread across you know, uh, different geographies and so on. And lastly, it's the challenge around a lack of skilled resources. Um, so some organizations may have small IT teams that are in charge of these you know, large distributed sites, and not everyone is an IT or a networking expert. Um, so IT teams need to be able to help the operations team to manage these connected uh, assets more efficiently uh, and then have the right tools uh, to do their job. IT practices are very common uh, between uh, you know, teams, especially when uh, IT is spread thin which further increases the security risk of their operations. So what's actually needed is a very strong partnership between the IT teams and the operations teams to reach their sustainability goals. IT really has to play a big role uh, in these key technology transformation initiatives, such as you know, industrial networking, where companies are securely trying to connect more and more industrial devices and assets, uh, the shift to remote operations, uh, where people are you know, moving to the cloud to deploy and manage more uh, distributed operations uh, or you know, cybersecurity where you need to ensure that your assets are safe so that you can reduce downtime uh, of your operations. So Cisco is uniquely positioned to meet the needs of both IT as well as operations team. We have a ruggedized portfolio that is suited for industrial environments, industrial use cases, uh, the portfolio has all the um, certifications that we need on an industrial side. Uh, we support different industrial protocols. Uh, and then it's actually built on the enterprise grade architecture that IT knows and loves. Our customers get all the benefits of the enterprise network wherever their edge is. So Cisco is really committed to the industrial space. We've been in the space for the last couple of decades. We're making the right investments in the portfolio. Uh, we also have a flexible architecture that can grow with our customers. At Cisco Live Amsterdam, uh, earlier this month, we made some announcements around uh, cloud-based uh, IoT operations dashboard that can really help our customers secure their uh, industrial operations as well as deliver remote access to operational devices. Uh, the IoT operations dashboard is uh, providing our customers with cloud-delivered OT services for industrial networks. We're really making IT the hero here uh, and empowering them with the tools uh, to do their everyday jobs. It's the ideal solution for operations team to manage you know, distributed sites, distributed infrastructures, uh, where you have you know, many different locations, and especially with teams who don't have that deep networking uh, expertise. 
Uh, it really allows you to deploy and monitor your network and also secure your industrial assets. So let me walk you through the two new services uh, that we announced in IoT Operations Dashboard. So we saw that cybersecurity has been a challenge for our customers. And as organizations are connecting more and more things, they need visibility into what is actually there on that operations network. And if there are any security threats that are associated with the devices there. So now what we have done is introduced CyberVision as a new service in IoT operations dashboard. Uh, so customers can get deep visibility into what is connected into the network. Uh, and also you can also get the potential vulnerability which is there on the network. So with CyberVision as a service in uh, IoT operations dashboard, you're able to get the automated discovery of the equipment. So you get a full inventory of all your assets and an assessment of the vulnerabilities. We also have integration with SecureX and uh, Cisco Kenna. So IT can really use this information to improve their security uh, posture uh, across the industrial network. The second uh, enhancement that uh, we have made is uh, to the capability of secure equipment access, which is also a service in uh, IoT operations dashboard. So now customers are able to run native applications on their workstation to interact with remote operations, uh, uh, operational assets. So secure equipment access really makes it easy for IT to enable the operations team to manage the equipment remotely. So IT teams don't, uh, you know, they don't need to take the time to configure those complex VPNs. Uh, that you know they need to do if you have a remote worker, worker logging in. So with SEA uh, and SEA Plus, operations team can enable internal employees or even external vendors to access, configure, troubleshoot equipment without an actual you know need a physical uh, site visit that uh, that you needed to do earlier. Uh, we are also adding the capability to support more types of connected equipment. For example, if you have a PLC that is connected for a roadside equipment, it can be accessed in this way. Uh, we continue to provide browser-based access for equipment uh, using protocols such as SSH, RDP, and so on. So IT teams can be rest assured that the access is highly uh, secure and workers would never be you know, able to connect to the uh, uh, organization's network without full authentication. I would like to invite Dan, who is our uh, technical marketing engineer, to walk us through a demo of these new capabilities in IoT operations dashboard. Over to you, Dan. Thanks, Tanu. My name is Dan Behrens, and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco's IoT business unit focused on our industrial security solutions. And today, we're gonna dive into Cisco's IoT Operations Dashboard, a cloud-based modular platform that enables the ability for organizations to deploy and manage and gain visibility and insights into industrial assets and industrial networks at scale. We're also gonna talk about Cisco CyberVision, a new service coming to Cisco's IoT Operations Dashboard that enables organizations to get rich information about the industrial assets that are deployed, as well as details as far as any vulnerabilities that are associated with those devices. And these are devices that are deployed in harsh environments, often that are highly distributed, and in many cases are extremely difficult to reach. These may be use cases that are static or even in motion, and in many cases are extremely critical to human life and safety. Think of a traffic intersection. Organizations across industries are facing similar dilemmas like managing thousands of EV charging stations, controlling a wind farm in the middle of the ocean, or managing a fleet of city buses. Cisco's IoT Operations Dashboard provides a set of tools to maintain and manage these devices at scale, all the while enabling the ability to maintain your security policies across the organization. The dashboard is designed to get you up and active as quickly as possible, leveraging a cloud-based service that you can access anywhere with no complex setup. The user interface is designed to look like many Cisco solutions and enables the ability to directly integrate seamlessly with other management tools. The dashboard offers a simple workflow to securely onboard and manage gateways, as well as the ability to view them on a map and see their status. It provides alarming and troubleshooting and really anything else you could need, as well as in the future, the ability to quickly hop between other Cisco solutions. Cisco industrial routers are often providing connectivity to industrial assets that are key to remotely managing processes, such as changing lights at an intersection or maintaining equipment such as controllers in a wind turbine. Customers often lack the details of what's connected. That's an operational challenge, 
but it also makes it difficult to secure the environment, as unknown devices can become a cyber threat. CyberVision leverages a software sensor that is built into the IR1101, which enables the ability to identify all of the information about the assets that are connected. Combining CyberVision with the IoT Operations Dashboard makes it extremely easy to deploy at scale. Users can now get a detailed inventory that's always up to date. This makes managing resources way more efficient and it helps drive cybersecurity best practices. For example, CyberVision can identify software vulnerabilities that need patching. It can integrate with Cisco's Kenna to get a risk score for those vulnerabilities so that users can define an action plan based on what's really important for their environment. This asset inventory can also be shared with tools like Cisco SecureX, so that the security team now has visibility on both the enterprise and the industrial environments, which makes threat investigations much easier. Another key feature that many organizations need is the ability to provide remote access to troubleshoot and diagnose issues that are occurring in these environments. Cisco's IoT Operations Dashboard provides Secure Equipment Access, or SEA+, as a way to help provide connectivity into these resources. Whether it's internal users or third-party suppliers, Providing remote access at scale can quickly become a challenge. With Cisco's Secure Equipment Access, leveraging the power of the network to remotely access connected equipment in a completely secure and controlled manner. Now, users get access to exactly what they need, only when they need it, without the need to install any additional software. With Cisco's IoT Operations Dashboard, Cisco CyberVision, and Secure Equipment Access, users can manage these distributed assets at scale with security without compromise. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Uh, that was great. Um, I would also you know, like to talk uh, about new hardware platforms that we launched at Cisco Live, uh, both on the wired and the wireless side. Uh, these really enable new use cases for our customers. The first uh, platform that we launched is uh, the IE3100 uh, Rugged Switch. Uh, that's the latest addition to the industrial switching portfolio. It's the small, uh, fast, and secure version of our existing IE2K switches. It's really designed for very tight spaces or space-constrained deployment. It has a very small form factor, so it can fit in these you know, tight cabinets. Uh, it runs on iOS XC, like a lot of our other switches in the family. Uh, and so now with this switch, we have an entire DIN rail portfolio that is moved over to iOS XC. So key applications uh, of this new switch are around uh, machine builders using this switch, uh, can embed the switch uh, in their machines, uh, as well as you know, uh, solar farms, uh, wind farms, track site amusement rides, anything really that has you know, tight space uh, constraints. This is a great option for providing secure, fast, uh, you know, connectivity uh, for those type of use cases. The switch is also managed by a DNA center. So IT teams really know DNAC and they've used it in the enterprise network to manage the corporate network. And now they can use the same tool to manage uh, the industrial network. They can leverage the same DNAC licensing. Uh, so it really helps the customer reduce downtime, increase efficiency with all the automation that they get, uh, and also stay compliant. We at Cisco are really designing products to ensure that we have a sustainable future, uh, especially with the IE3100. What we've done is we've eliminated the use of paint and replaced it with uh, surface anodization. Uh, we are able to save uh, 10.5 tons of powder coating per year. And this is a high volume uh, switch, which means that the impact on the environment is significant with the elimination of paint. Uh, also on the packaging side, we have 100% recyclable uh, packaging, which means no foam. Uh, so essentially, we want to make sure that at Cisco, we are doing our part to build a sustainable product for a better planet. Uh, I'm going to invite our TME uh, for switching to give us a demo of this uh, new switch. Thanks for taking a few minutes to learn about Cisco's Catalyst Industrial Ethernet 3100 series ruggedized managed ethernet switches. My name is Albert Mitchell, technical marketing engineer in Cisco's industrial networking group. The 3100 rugged series are ideal for today's industrial networking needs. The IA3100 is the smallest fully managed DIN rail mount ethernet switch in Cisco's industrial ethernet portfolio. The IA3100 is perfect for those requiring small form factor networking products to fit in space constrained environments. For example, 
Machine builders can replace unmanaged switches with an IE3100 because of its diminutive size. Customers with roadside cabinets, such as transportation and roadway, need small, lightweight, low power, as well as SFP fiber uplinks for their IoT networking needs. The 3100 supports gigabit ethernet on all interfaces, enabling fast, reliable communication. And the 3100 also supports products that only operate at 100 megabit fast ethernet. This allows flexibility in deployments and network migration. These five products you see make up the Catalyst Industrial Ethernet 3100 Rugged Series family. The 3100 Rugged Series is part of the Industrial Ethernet 3000 family of managed DIN rail Ethernet switches. The 3100 Rugged Series family have a fixed port count. The series offers three different port count options, 6, 10, or 20. The IA3100 Rugged Series have or will have the industrial compliance for emissions, immunity, and safety in line with the other Cisco IE3000 family of DIN rail portfolio switches. There are two flavors of IE3100 Rugged Series. These two are the 3105 Rugged members, and they come with additional hardware features that the other three do not have. This is the smallest in the IE3100 series. It's the 3100 4T2S. It has four copper gigabit downlinks and two SFP uplinks. This is the 10 port model and the 20 port model. These models have dual media copper or fiber gigabit uplinks as well as gigabit copper downlinks. The 3100 has an aluminum mesh top and bottom, allowing the unit to dissipate heat easier. The mesh is how the 3100 can be the smallest DIN rail managed industrial ethernet switch in Cisco's ethernet switch portfolio. Even though it has a mesh instead of solid metal, the 3100 is rated with ingress protection 30 or IP30. Other features to note on the faceplate. This is the SD card for your SD card insertion, the console port, the input output hardware alarms, and the dual redundant power inputs. And if you're not familiar with DIN rail, it's a way to attach these products to the inside of an enclosure. This is the rear of the IA3100 and it's DIN rail clip. This clip allows a snug and solid fit to the rail against the side of the enclosure. At Cisco, we take great pride in our sustainability initiatives and the 3100 is a perfect example. The 3100 is not painted, it's anodized aluminum. This allows a more environmentally friendly product and reduces unnecessary coating material. The packing and packaging material are also 100% recyclable. The IE3100 Rugged Series are Layer 2 Ethernet switches running Cisco's iOS XC operating system, enabling the latest in Cisco networking features and manageability. This includes security features such as 802.1x, downloadable ACLs, and ensuring the iOS XE software is generated by Cisco and is malware free. The IE3100 is supported by Cisco's DNA Center to allow for centralized management and increased network visibility. They will fit seamlessly into your managed Cisco network. The IE3100 supports industrial protocols such as Profinet, Ethernet IP, Modbus, and Precision Time Protocol. The 3100 also support popular redundancy protocols such as REP and MRP. In addition to all that, these two IE3105s on the right support Layer 2 NAT because of their additional hardware capabilities. For those looking to the future, the IE3100 is perfect when you upgrade your existing fast Ethernet network. The IE3100 switches fit within the same enclosure and space as your existing fast Ethernet industrial switches with matching port counts and features. Everything gets smaller and faster. The IE3100 is no different. It's smaller, it's full gigabit at line rate, and it's pretty cute too. It's a welcome addition to the IE3000 rugged series of managed DIN rail industrial ethernet switching products. Thank you for the demo, uh, that was great. Um, let me actually move over to the other announcements that we have on the wireless side. So very excited to present the industrial wireless 9165 series. Uh, this really completes the refresh of the IoT wireless portfolio. We announced a couple of other products last year. 
This is the, um, there are two products in the series, 9165, the 9165E, and the, then the D. So 9165E is really Cisco's first dedicated wireless client in the market. It allows customers uh, to connect your moving assets wirelessly and also reliably. Again, it has a small form factor. It's DIN rail mounted. It has dual radios. Uh, you're able to power it up with you know, either DC or PoE. The key applications for 9165E are autonomous uh, robots as well as vehicles in manufacturing ports uh, logistics. So if you're installing it in AGVs, you can actually also connect it back to your uh, Wi-Fi infrastructure. It has the GPIO port, so you can turn off the AGVs through the wireless network to save on batteries and you know turn it on again when you need to. Uh, it's also certified for rail operations. So a lot of great use cases that this can be used uh, to provide wireless connectivity. The next product in this series is the 9165D uh, that provides wireless backhaul with built-in antennas and very easy to deploy when fiber or cellular is not an option or is not feasible. Uh, it has external ant antennas that can be added to support fixed as well as mobile use cases uh, simultaneously. Uh, the 9165D is heavy duty. It's IP67 rated waterproof that can be installed, you know, in the wild outdoors. You can create either P2P, point to point, or point to, uh, point -to, -point, or point -to multi point, or mesh networks. Uh, you can use it to connect uh, vehicles, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, as well as fixed assets. So key applications for this uh, for this product are connecting cameras at intersections, uh, you know, in the outdoors, providing building to building connectivity, mining, rail, and a lot of other use cases. Uh, with that, I am going to invite our TME to give us a demo on the 9165 uh, series. Hello, my name is DJ Cole. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. I'm here to give you a brief overview of the Cisco Catalyst IW9165E wireless client and access point. Now, before I begin, I'd like to mention this is only part of our Cisco Catalyst IW9160 family of access points. We also have the IW9167E access point and the IW9165D access point. So be sure to check those out as well. Now, what makes the IW9165E wireless client and access point unique? Well, this is actually Cisco's first purpose-built industrial wireless client. And what do I mean by wireless client? Wireless client is a device that allows you to connect wired devices or a collection of wired devices behind a switch to your wireless network. We actually support two different technologies on this device to allow you to do that. In the first technology called Workgroup Bridge, or WGB for short, we allow you to connect those wired devices to a traditional Wi-Fi network, either a Cisco Wi-Fi network or a third-party Wi-Fi network. In the second mode of operation called Cisco Ultra Reliable Wireless Backhaul, or CURB for short, we allow you to extend your wired network to either remote or mobile assets in operational or mission critical use cases that require lower latency or higher reliability than you can get with traditional Wi-Fi. Now, let's take a closer look at the device. The wireless client has an IP30 rated case and two 802.11ax radios that support operation up to 2x2 with two spatial streams each. All of the connectors that you need during normal operation of the wireless client are conveniently located on the front face. Let's take a look at those. First, you'll notice two RJ45 Ethernet ports. This Ethernet port here supports operation up to 1 gigabit per second, while this port in the center supports operation up to 2.5 gigabits per second. This port also allows for PoE input to the wireless client. In addition to PoE, you can also power the wireless client using DC power with this 4-pin microfit connector with voltages from 24 to 48 volts. Next to the DC input connector is the GPIO connector. This wireless client has one input and one output for connection to external systems. This wireless client also has a built-in GNSS receiver. You can connect an external GNSS antenna to the wireless client using this port to enable location services. As I mentioned, the wireless client has two radios. Each of those two radios has two antenna ports each. This radio, radio number one, supports operation in the 5 GHz band while radio number 2 supports operation in both the 5 and 6 GHz band, depending on the local regulations. Now, let's take a look at the side of the wireless client. On this side, you have an RJ45 console port and a reset button to reset the wireless client back to defaults. On the back of the wireless client, you have four holes for mounting. I'll talk about the mounting options in just a second. 
And on the last side of the wireless client, you have grounding lugs to ground the wireless client. On the bottom of the wireless client, you have additional holes for mounting, and I'll talk about those options. There are two options to mount the wireless client. The first is through the use of a DIN rail adapter. DIN rail is commonly used in industrial settings to use to mount equipment. When using the DIN rail adapter, you can actually mount the wireless client in four different orientations. When using the DIN rail adapter on the back of the wireless client, you can use it standing off the DIN rail in both the vertical and horizontal orientation. When using the DIN rail adapter and mounting it on the bottom of the wireless client, you can mount the wireless client flat against the DIN rail with either the ports facing down or the ports facing up. The second option for mounting the wireless client is to the use of the mounting ears. The mounting ears attach to the bottom of the wireless client and can be used to mount the wireless client to any flat surface. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching this overview of the IW9165E wireless client and access point. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. So all these innovations really enable use cases that uh, drive sustainability from renewable power generation like solar and wind farms to energy distribution uh, to you know, electric vehicle. To sum it up, I would like to say that you know, only Cisco supports IT uh, and operations uh, in a way that no other, uh, no other company can. We have the best of enterprise as well as the industrial network. We have a ruggedized portfolio for uh, most of the use cases. Uh, we support our portfolio supports IT teams as well as you know, operations teams. We have enterprise grade security built into the products. You're able to extend the IT security practices uh, to industrial networks very seamlessly. Uh, also, we have uh, Cisco validated designs. So these are you know, tried and tested designs to remove the guesswork uh, and shorten the deployment time for our customers. We have a world-class customer experience team that can really help you with the deployments uh, and also specialized partnership uh, to ensure success for our customers. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, reach out to our account teams or our partners that you may be working with for either a demo of the products or if you have use cases that we can help you uh, with. Uh, thank you so much.